morning, everybody. I call this Thursday Thunder. Why do I call it Thursday Thunder? Because everybody's rushing off to get to Friday because they're already worried about the weekend and they haven't even gotten through Thursday. Remember what the Lord said, man. Worry about today. Tomorrow got worries of its own. Focus on today. Get ready for tomorrow. But just focus on today. Today has worries of its own. So I call it Thursday Thunder because everybody's getting ready for Friday and it's not even there yet. That's why. So, but also, take the time. Have you ever just taken the time to stop and reflect? From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, reevaluate your week, how it's went, what you did, what you accomplished, how you achieved things, what way you went about them, the ups and downs, the pros and cons, the things that made you angry, things that you were a little bit um, impatient with, your job, your friends, your family, your children, um, situations, how you could have went about them differently. Could you have done anything in any shape, form, or fashion to change the idea of what you did throughout the week to make things work better to your advantage? Um, just take the time to reflect, you know. From the time you get up, you know, when your feet touch the floor, think about it, because there's people that don't have feet. Their feet can't touch the floor no more or never were able to. From the time you open your eyes, you know, there's people out there that can't see. Appreciate and reflect on the time that you have to open your eyes. Remember, Time's not giving back, it only goes forward. Anything's possible, things in life happen, life happens. So take the time to reflect. Have you ever reached over to your husband and your wife, um, your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever it may be, and when you touch their face when they're asleep, just by the touch of your hand, they kind of vaguely smile, let you know, they know you're there, and they enjoy and appreciate that moment they're having? Have you taken the time to enjoy the moments that you, when you walk in the kitchen, have you ever woke up, just made your wife breakfast? You know, just enjoying the idea that she appreciates who you are and you just those little things. The little things count. Make a breakfast, some toast, some eggs, some bacon. It doesn't take long. Throw it in a pan, cook it up. Let her know here, this is for appreciating you. Wives do the same things for your husbands. It goes back and forth. The small things in life count. Have you taken the time, you know, to, to look back at your house? Look at your animals? Look at the things you have? Appreciate life in a different way. Have you taken the time to do so? Gorilla power train is a way of life. It's not just being, it's not just about being, you know, go, go, go all the time, you know. You're a dominating contender with life and all aspects of who you're meant to be physically, mentally, and spiritually. But at the same token, it's about reflection. You have to take a step back and look at your life and understand what you have, what you're doing, how hard you've been working, you know, that you're blessed, that you're here. You have your limbs, you have your arms, your legs, your, your hands, you have sight, you have voice you have the things you need in life to help you push forward and even if you're <clears throat> even if you don't have all your members you're that individual that keeps pushing forward i remember my grandfather my grandfather <laughs> he had his legs amputated you know for about 20 years he didn't have any legs both of them uh, i don't remember why i'm really not sure i don't recall it but uh my grandmother you know she was blind unfortunately she decided to shoot herself in the head one day and you know and the lord didn't see fit to take her life he saw fit to just take her sight and let her know, no, you're going to live. You're going to understand the circumstances in which you've put yourself through. So my grandfather had no legs. My grandmother had no, had no sight. <laughs> and they accommodated each other very well. She got around the kitchen very well. She, uh, she had a job and everything. So I don't take life for granted. I know that no matter your circumstances, I don't care what you go through. You can do anything. You just got to be willing to do it. And yes, a dominating contender, a gorilla, should dominate relentlessly. Because why? GPT 360, Gorilla Power Train, it's empowerment through fitness and life motivation to help you encompass who you're meant to be, what you're meant to do and how you're meant to do it. Think about it. Reflect on your life and what you're doing, who you're with, how you've gotten to where you're at. If you're still going through the struggle, if you're still trying to push forward, no matter the circumstances, never give up, never quit on yourself. No matter the people, places and things will try to stop you from moving forward. Always remember that. But never stop moving forward. Always keep moving forward. Just don't go backwards. You know, if you're going to fall, fall forward. Don't fall backwards. At least you can see things coming at you. Everybody have a blessed day. You know, be patient. Be understanding. Be kind. Love. Show that love to everybody out there that needs it. Even those that aren't kind to you. Give kindness back. Trust me. They'll appreciate the idea of what you're trying to do at least. Blessings. Everybody have a great day. Be blessed. Stay up. Gorilla Power Train, GPT 360, baby.